I am not just a cold, mossy, lifeless, neatly arranged, towering chunk of stones. I have stood firmly here, witnessing the journey of 1400 years of history. I was born from the holy vision of Gunadama during Salendra dynasty. People then call me Chandi. My body is encrusted with stupas, decorated with relief walls full of meaning. By my people, I am made a landmark of glory, majesty, and a heirloom of archipelago civilization. The Buddhists made me a holy place for worship, enlightenment, and spreading Dharma. I am the famous Chandi Barabadur. The first time the feet rest on the base of Mandala, the eyes are forced to focus on the cosmological reflected beauty of the universe. But when walking step by step down the stairs, the eyes turn to look at the soul. In tune with the echoes of life's prayer beads towards Nirvana. Burabadur is the place where light shines for the universe. A place where pure souls are enlightened. The place where Buddha is on the throne. When crossing the hallways of Barabadur, the reliefs engraved on the walls are greetings with their own words. Every stroke conveys Buddha's Dharma teachings. Barabadur, the ancestral land heritage where architecture is not just about culture but reveals the main purpose of human life. Chandi Barabadur, supported by World Buddhist Brotherhood, came from many directions, united in one goal. They sat in a circle wrapped in a blanket of deep silence, behind hundreds of stupas, religious nuances. Now I have revealed the soul of the stones, carved and named Chandi Barabadur. Behind the beauty of the cosmological reflection of the universe, three Ratna animates existence. On the holy day of Buddha Purnima, the bright light of the full moon does not only illuminate the darkness of the world. As the light flashes beautifully in every hallway and niche of Barabadur stupas, penetrating the consciousness of human souls. Sri Ratna, the path to enlightenment, the light of Buddha Purnima.